out and prepare this week and get ourselves ready to play and, and execute on Sunday. What are your thoughts on the game manager tag? Like, do you think that's a negative thing, or, or is that something that's good for a football team? Don't care. Don't care. Just trying to win. Are you being asked to do different things in this offense than you've been asked in the past? Um, no, I mean, I think – Every offense is a little bit different, right? So the adjustments are, are a little bit different. But at the end of the day, you're making adjustments just like you would in, in any offense. You lead the league in yards per attempt. What are some of the things that uh, have been key to that thus far? Well, I think it starts with uh, up front guys giving me time. And then our, our playmakers are, are doing a great job of, of being explosive once the ball is in their hands. You know, A.J. last week catches a couple underneath routes and, and breaks some tackles and, and makes some long runs. So um, like I said all year, we have, we have playmakers on the outside. And we feel really good about getting the ball in their hands and, and letting them go to work. Um, you know, I think we, we do that uh, efficiently. And then, you know, if we can take advantage of the shots downfield when we get them. You know, miss one last week to Corey that I'd like to have back. But, uh, you know, we're going to continue to uh, to push the ball down the field and, and hopefully it hits them. I know you're being a supportive backup when you weren't playing. But I imagine it's also human nature to imagine what you could be doing while you're, while you're not playing. Is what you've done since you've taken over – the kind of thing you were envisioning? Yeah, I mean, you, you just, you're trying to prepare the best you can and, and be ready for your opportunity. And then once you get your opportunity, you want to go out and play well. And, um, you know, just, just want to be getting a little bit better each and every week. And uh, I look to continue that. Was there, was there film playing in your head during those games or during film review of those games as to what it might have been if you were in there? Uh, you don't say what might have been, but you, you just you go through it and you take the mental reps and and put yourself in, in the quarterback's shoes and, and play the game. You know, you're not physically getting those reps, but you want to put yourself in that situation. That way, when it comes up for you, uh, then you can make the right decision. Has game week preparation changed or evolved for you over time and maybe even since this transition? Like, in other words, you know, more time, less time, more efficient, anything like that? Is that, is that changed? Yeah, I mean, over the course of my career, it's changed. Um, you know, trying a few things out early on and, and figuring out what's what's best for me. How much film do I need to watch? Do I um, do I hurt myself if I watch too much film and overthink things or, you know, that type of thing. So, yeah, it's definitely evolved over the course of eight years. Um, but I feel like, um, you know, really kind of hit a stride this year with, with how we do things, not only myself, but um, how the plan goes in and, and how we talk about it and then, uh, go out and practice it. What is the sweet spot, you know, for you? Just like for you and what stuff maybe you're doing on your own. Yeah, it's it's a balance of taking care of the body, doing all the things to take care of your body, and then and then mentally prepare. So it's you know tape, uh, going through the calls, um, the the installs, you know, going through mentally. Okay, this coverage, what's my plan? This coverage, what's my plan? Um, but then balancing that with, like I said, taking care of your body and and getting ready to go on Sunday. Was there a time where you watched too much film? I think so, probably early in my career. Um, you know, I wanted to see every snap that the team had played the whole year. So it gets late in the year, and it's a lot of tape to be watching, you know. So uh, I've dialed that back a little bit. Uh, we still watch a lot, a, lot of, a lot of football and a lot of snaps, but uh, try to split it up a little bit. The other quarterbacks help me out and, and take a couple games off my plate too. So uh, at the end of the day, we end up, you know, getting all the film we need. You've been very open about how much fun you're having here. Obviously, winning makes it fun, but other than that, what is it that you're enjoying so much about this team? I enjoy how this team prepares, you know, the, the fun that we have on the field. We go out and we practice hard, we work hard, um, but we enjoy being out there, enjoy the opportunity. Uh, I know being on the sidelines for the first few weeks of the season definitely has made me uh, cherish the opportunity of being out there and, and enjoy enjoy every moment because you never know what's going to happen in this league, so uh, enjoy it every every step of the way. During training camp, I talked to you, and you said how uh, Arthur Smith was one of the most open coordinators you've, you've had. Has, how has that process evolved uh, throughout the season? Yeah, we just keep building. Like I said, we, we have a plan of how things go in throughout the week. We talk through it um, before it's installed through the whole offense, so we kind of have an idea of, of, uh, of what's going in and any adjustments that we want to make before it's presented to the whole team. And, yeah, Arthur's done a great job of, of being consistent with that, you know, staying on track and – and like I said, being open and, and communicating uh, his thoughts and, and our thoughts and kind of finding the, the balance there of, of what's best for us. Were you in situations before where it was this way or the highway? Uh, yeah, I mean, every, every coordinator is a little bit different. So, uh, you know, I, I love the way Arthur does things and, and hope to continue 
just building on that the rest of this year. Haven't been done in a long time, or never been done by a rookie in this Springfield. What's allowed him to come in and have the impact that he's had already in his career? He's a talented guy. You know, you look at him physically. He's big. He's strong. Uh, has great hands. He, his run after catch has has been great all year. You know, going back to Cleveland in the first game of the year, he, he caught one, and uh, I don't know how many yards he got on it, but but broke some tackles and got way downfield. And he's kind of just continued that. You know, throughout the year, I think he's growing as a player, uh, developing getting more and more confident as the season goes on. Um, he's a smart player. You know, he, uh, he has a knack for just understanding things and uh, understanding football and, and what we're trying to get out of it. So um, I like the track that he's on. Like I said, if we can just keep pushing him and, and uh, ask him to get a little better every week, you know, he's going to be a, a great player. In some of the things that have gotten better on the offense, it's just been a matter of kind of being patient and, and fighting through some things. Yeah, I think it's a long NFL season. And, uh, you know, that's the whole goal is, is to be getting better each and every week, you know, as, as a whole, as an offense. So um, I think as an offense, we've grown over the course of the season. Uh, I think uh, the offensive line is really dialed in right now and how they're playing. And uh, we have a lot of confidence that you know, no matter what's called, that uh, we feel good about, about making yards on it. Obviously, you have perfect good connection and have confidence in your – I guess, what's your confidence level in the tight ends? Uh, Delaney goes an hour today, but it seems like you have a pretty good rapport with the other guys. What, what's your confidence level with that group as a whole? Yeah, it hurts. You know, Delaney's is a heck of a player, and I have a ton of respect for him. And he's had a, an amazing career over the course of, I think, what, 14 years or something like that. So, you know, a ton of respect for Delaney. But, um, you know, he's been banged up, so we, we've had to play without him, unfortunately. And guys have stepped up. You know, I don't think we've really missed a whole lot of beats there with the way Ferk's been playing and Janu and, and Pru. Guys have really just stepped up and kind of balanced that load. And um, they're talented in their own right. So um, I don't think we have quite the, the exact same player as, as Delaney. But uh, amongst those three guys, they all bring something different to the table and I think give us uh, another way to attack by, by the way that they're all talented in different ways. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.